wanted to tell you about how fabulous we are and, and everything that we do is so beautiful, but I'm sure you're all as tired as I am. So I'm going to try and keep it sweet and short. When I, I work with Fyodor, he's my partner, he's stayed back in London. Um, we launched our collections in 2011. And um, from the beginning, both of us came from fine art background. From the beginning, we, we were very attracted by the idea of combining uh, traditional craftsmanship, couture techniques with modern technology, textures, new fabrics, new embroideries, just really new ways for um, people to express themselves with. I love the way the word emotion was uh, used earlier because we always describe our garments as emotional. Just a bit of a background. Uh, we both worked in, in the industry with people like uh, McQueen, Isimiyaki. Uh, we won a few awards that helped us to get to where we are today. Last season, we were approached by Nokia. Uh, they wanted us to help them make something that will be interesting for people. Uh, it didn't have to be wearable, it didn't have to be functional in any way, but it was just feeling that need, that interest that people has with how technology comes into clothing and just exploding with it. We had one month to do it before our show, and so we just decided to fuck it and have fun. Uh, we made a skirt made out of their uh, new phones and created it with a technology company a couple of apps that made the phones project our seasonal print. We wanted the phones to feel like, um, like a material, and so we also had an app where the phones changed colors as the model moved. It was movement sensitive. What was re really interesting looking back is the reactions that we got for it. Um, I mean, these are just kind of a bit of numbers, but they're very interesting, uh, and I'm never interested in numbers. 5% of all London Fashion Week tweets was about this collaboration. It made us the 10 most, most talked about label in London Fashion Week, and um, the whole collaboration generated a press um, to the worth of 1.4 million euros. So that comes, and it went viral instantly, globally. So that's just there to show me as a designer and whoever is interested, how much people are actually looking to us as the new generation of fashion designers to take things to the next level and, and don't like not to be too afraid and just play around and, and you know, whatever comes, uh, people are interested. We also worked with eight different mills across Europe um, on the more traditional side of fabrics, but looking how we can develop, use that technology. So technology doesn't only mean that you can stick a phone to your jacket. It can also mean that you can still use fabrics, but maybe you can reinvent fabrics. You were saying uh, something about um, uh, like a silicone behaving like silk. Well, that's what we tried to do. Worked with different mills that are quite traditional and been in business since, I don't know, like 1800s, and, and get them to do really exciting, really unique stuff. Yes, yeah, so the reactions are great, the crowd is there, the markets are craving for it, people from all over the world internationally. We sell these experimental garments from London to Milan to Kuwait to Russia to China. There is no one particular emerging market that is only interested in it. It's the whole world. We're all living in it. And Fyodor and myself always have these conversations. We just feel like our generation of designer was raised on the McQueens and the Galeanos and the Muglers that created these incredible um, works of art. And though, but, but today we live in this world where we're connected to our phones and we have to have an Instagram marketing strategy and all that stuff. So it's, it's up to us, it's up to our generation of designers and, and whoever is in the fashion industry right now to combine these two together, bring what fashion used to be, this really inspirational, beautiful tool of expressing yourself and combining it with the tools that are available to us. And then obviously challenging um, those tech people because uh, we worked with a few of them and, and it wasn't easy. And it's just because our language as designers is so different than their language in the technology business. And when we, when we say we want, it, we want her to be able to get in, they see something completely different. 
So, um, so yeah, I think we definitely, everyone is in the right direction and everybody's interested, but uh, it's hard work ahead. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>